Uh, and as you said, with space, there are some huge opportunities. We're not just disrupting some legacy businesses like you know satellite radio, satellite TV, uh, and expanding those. We're creating whole new markets. Sam Chorus, analyst for ARK Invest, focuses on automation, robotics, energy storage, and space exploration. As we mentioned earlier, air taxis. This is uh, a whole new opportunity that could be hundreds of billions of dollars. On March 30th, ARK Invest launched its new ETF based on space exploration and innovation, ARKX. I thought this ETF would contain many of the companies working on advanced air mobility, a market projected to be valued at 1.5 trillion by 2040. In this video, we will examine the characteristics that make eVTOL companies a perfect fit for ARK Invest strategy. What are the few air mobility companies they are currently holding in their ETF? And we will look at the factors that could be preventing Kathy Wood to be more bullish on this industry at this moment. We believe that there are five innovation platforms evolving at the same time. This has never happened in history. You have to go back to the late 1800s to see three innovation platforms evolving at the same time. Back then, electricity, telephone, and the internal combustion engine. For the 50 years through 1929, because of those innovation platforms, we experienced a booming economy and very low inflation. We see that happening with these five platforms, which are all ready, we believe, for prime time. The five innovation platforms upon which we base all of our research are DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. These platforms cut across sectors. They cut across geographies. They cut across markets. And importantly, they are converging with each other to spawn new innovation. ARK Invest has identified 14 transformative technologies that are approaching tipping points as costs drop, unleashing demand across sectors and geographies and generating more innovation. These technologies can be grouped into the five major platforms mentioned before. When looking at air mobility, we can say that the main enabler is energy storage, followed by robotics and artificial intelligence. Drawing the advanced air mobility ecosystem in the cluster will look like this, where autonomous mobility clearly sits in the center, and technologies such as mobile connected devices and 3D printing play an important role. Batteries are a key component when designing an eVTOL aircraft. The vertical takeoff and landing stages of the flight require great amounts of energy. This is why energy storage is the main innovation platform that is enabling the eVTOL revolution. Sam Chorus explains. Lithium-ion batteries have been around since the early 1990s, but we're approaching some really exciting tipping points. The costs are coming down faster than anyone anticipated, and they're not just enabling electric vehicles and energy storage, but they're also changing the way we travel. What a lot of people don't realize is that battery cost declines aren't going to just stop. Battery costs are going to continue to fall and make endless applications available. Not only the cost of batteries is decreasing, but the performance of battery cell development has rapidly improved over the past decades. The battery density has grown significantly, but also the cell's ability to provide sufficient power. Battery energy density and power density are projected to continue to increase as the chart suggests. On June 10th, Archer unveiled Maker, a full-scale, two-passenger demonstrator aircraft, capable of traveling 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. The Maker represents a tilting rotor architecture type of aircraft. Find out more on eVTOL categories in this video. Kathy Wood has been buying shares of Atlas Crest Investment Corporation, ticker symbol ICIC a special-purpose acquisition company to merge with Archer. Currently, at a $3.8 billion valuation, ARK Invest owns $33.4 million worth of shares, representing 0.88% of the company. It's important to mention that these shares are held across two of ARK funds, where 88% belong to ARKQ, ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF.
and the remaining 12% belong to ARCAX, the ARC Space Exploration and Innovation ETF. Hi, I'm Brandon Keane, Chief Technology Officer of Blade, and I want to talk to you today about urban air mobility. So what do we mean by that? We mean short flights between urban city centers and the areas between. Urban air mobility might sound like the future, but Blade has been doing it for five years in strategic locations like New York, Los Angeles, and Mumbai. Blade already does this. Blade is a technology-powered, short-distance aviation company committed to reducing travel friction by enabling cost-effective air transportation alternatives to some of the most congested ground routes in the U.S. and abroad. ARK Invest holds 3.92 million shares of Blade, ticker symbol BLDE. Blade market capitalization currently is $745 million. ARC holds a $37 million part, representing 4.97% of the company. Blade shares are held across ARCX and ARCQ funds, where 80% belong to ARCQ, ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, and the remaining 20% belong to ARCX, the ARC Space Exploration and Innovation ETF. It's important to mention that Blade announced a binding agreement to secure up to 20 Beta Technologies aircrafts scheduled for delivery in late 2024. We believe that noise will largely define the success or failure of this industry. To be successful, we have to deliver customers as close to their destination as possible. This means regular flights in and out of built-up areas, which only works if the aircraft is really quiet. With more than 1,000 test flights completed over the last 10 years, Joby Aviation is one of the leading companies in EV tall air mobility and will be one of the first to enter the market. ARK Invest has acquired shares of reInvent Technology Partners, ticker symbol RTP, a special purpose acquisition company to merge with Joby Aviation. Currently, at a $6.6 .6 billion valuation, ARK Invest owns $11.8 million worth of shares, representing 0.18% of the company. The totality of Joby Aviation shares are held in ARCX, the ARC Space Exploration and Innovation ETF. There is no doubt, advanced air mobility will be one of the most disruptive and innovative industries of the next decade. But just because a company fits perfectly with ARK Invest thematic investment strategy, that doesn't mean it should be incorporated into their ETFs. ARK selected companies must meet the return and growth profile, considered to be of at least 100% in five years. This brings us to the first factor, valuations. So we, we are certainly keeping an eye on, on many of the private companies as well. Uh, we're, we're seeing an, an uptick in uh, private companies going public via SPACs. So we are, are certainly, uh, that's expanding the universe and, and opportunities. Uh, but we, we do keep an eye on valuation. That's been kind of pushing us away from some of these companies that have recently gone public, uh, even though they, they are more poor, pure play uh, companies, right? Uh, just because they fit the space theme doesn't necessarily mean it makes sense from a valuation standpoint. That, that is really what's important. Uh, can these opportunities deliver kind of long-term returns and growth for investors? It is really hard to justify any of the current valuations by any metric. In most cases, these startups won't see any revenue until 2024. Here is a list of the top publicly traded advanced air mobility companies sorted by valuation. You can find the link to the full list in the description. Picking winners. Uh, and I think with SPACs, it's important to remember a lot of these are almost at the pre-IPO stage. Mm. And, you know, we do our research. And so uh, we really want to be sure that we're picking the winners long term, uh, particularly in aerospace where, you know, many, many companies do go bust and things get delayed. Uh, so we, we are really doing everything we can to make sure that all of our investment decisions are backed by research. ARC focuses on trying to pick the winning companies in the long term. And in the case of EV tall companies, the task is really hard at this point. There are still many obstacles these companies have to overcome, in particular, related to regulations. U.S. Tendency Unquestionably Tesla is Kathy Wood's favorite stock. Elon Musk's company falls under three of the five key innovation platforms identified by ARC. Energy storage, robotics, and AI. But so does many other electric vehicle companies in particular in China. 
where companies such as NEO and XBANG are major players with a big market share. But ARK Invest doesn't own any of these companies in their ETFs. A similar case could be made in the advanced air mobility market. As we have seen, the totality of ARK holdings are US companies. Ehang, ticker symbol EH, a major player in the urban air mobility market, and the one likely to own a big part of the Chinese market, is not included in ARK ETFs. Conclusion As I mentioned earlier, we have these huge hundreds of billion dollar opportunities that are just taking place today uh, and just starting. So, you know, we mentioned that satellite connectivity, hypersonic point to point, which might be a bit further out. Uh, but something that we're seeing happen, uh, you know, as, as we speak is this air taxi environment. And we have batteries that, that have come down in cost, autonomous technology that's come into place uh, that's going to open up this market that never existed before. And I know I'm personally excited to be able to go from downtown New York to JFK uh, for $75 in an air taxi, as opposed to paying the same amount in an Uber or something and sitting in traffic for two hours. I believe we will see ARK Invest buying more and more shares on EV tall companies in the coming years. As we discussed before, the advanced air mobility market fits perfectly with ARK strategy. Many of these companies will complete their merger with the SPAC in the upcoming months, making ARK reevaluate their decision on them. After all, this industry is in its infancy, and an exciting and worthwhile future lies ahead. I make technology and market analysis on the new and exciting EVTOL revolution. See you in the next video.